Well, after years of complaints, Georgia's insurance commissioner has finally taken action involving a roofing shingle you may have on your house right now. Yeah, an estimated 100,000 houses were built with the Atlas Chalet shingle. Now, it's a product that was discontinued seven years ago. Uh, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says the state fined one insurance company in connection with the Atlas Chalet shingles, but that may not be enough for upset homeowners. Randy. That's right, Russ and Sine. Yeah, it's because the fine only involves one company and it does nothing to address the bigger concern. Should insurance companies be allowed to deny claims for a full roof replacement when only some Atlas Chalet shingles are damaged? From way up here, the Magnolia Cottage neighborhood in Ackworth seems like the perfect picture. But down here, not everything is so neat and even. You know, it just isn't fair. Gail Cash and her husband Leo moved in three years ago. All 30 homes here built using Atlas Chalet shingles. Like so many of their neighbors, the Cashes say recent storms damaged part of their roof. 27 shingles affected. Most of the street now has whole new roofs. Not Gail and Leo. We've just never filed a claim. Never and the time we file it, we don't get anything. The problem is their shingle. Atlas Chalet stopped making them in 2010. So when a homeowner has only partial roof damage, contractors say it's impossible to find a replacement shingle. Look, they're all too big. They like the other option, replace the whole roof. Why should an insurance company just pay for a whole new roof when only 27 shingles are damaged? It's not gonna look normal. How am I going to warranty my work when I'm only fixing a little patch with a shingle that's not on the, it's not the same shingle that's on the roof. You're wearing a nice suit, so let me just put this over your uh, lap yeah. here. In 2015, we brought the question and an Atlas Chalet shingle to Georgia's insurance commissioner. His answer seemed pretty clear. If they have storm damage, the insurance company needs to replace it. The whole roof? Yep. If you can't match these shingles because they're no longer being manufactured, then I think that the insurance company probably ought to go ahead to satisfy the consumer and do the whole rot roof. Did you see his interview? I did. So he was saying what you were thinking? Yes, he was saying it. In fact, roofers even use the commissioner's interview on their website, hoping to convince reluctant insurance companies to approve full roof claims. But some still don't. Through a spokesman, the insurance commissioner says he was only offering his personal opinion. It carries no legal weight. So why do we have a state insurance commissioner if he's not going to help people like me? She's looking at $10,000 out of pocket to replace her roof, and she better move fast. So this wasn't here two weeks ago? No, mm -mm, no. Some homeowners are trying a different tactic. They're suing the manufacturer, claiming Atlas Shelley shingles are defective. But early this year, a federal judge in Atlanta denied their request for class action status, which would have opened up the case to as many as 100,000 homeowners like the Cashes. If residents go it alone, though, it won't be an easy fight. Atlas denies their shingles are defective, and so far, no judge has said otherwise. Early this year, the insurance commissioner did take some action. American Family Insurance agreed to pay a $125,000 fine for canceling 18 policies simply because they had Alice Shelley shingles. The company agreed to a consent order without admitting wrongdoing. But that $125,000 won't be given to homeowners. It goes into the state's general fund. I'm a little aggravated, I'm irritated, and uh, something needs to be done. They need to be held responsible. When you get homeowner's insurance, you kind of think you're, they're, they're standing behind you. They aren't standing behind anybody. Commissioner Hudgens also asked American Family Insurance to remove language from their policies that says it will not pay to make sure all the shingles match. A spokesperson for the company told me they are, quote, open to discussions with the insurance commissioner's office on this topic.